I'm Harshi Pereira. Uh, I'm an attorney at law, and this year I got the IBJ fellowship, and now I'm a justice maker. Harshi Pereira is a 2010 Justice Makers Fellow. The human rights organization International Bridges to Justice is helping her to put into action her project to provide legal aid to five women imprisoned at Welikada Prison in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Harshi is realizing her project through the organization Jana Sansadeya, the People's Forum, where she works as a lawyer. Actually, we started uh, from uh, human rights education for the people. Then, with that uh, type of work, we came to know by experience that torture is one of the major problems in Sri Lanka, especially uh, the, regarding the police. Then we came to know, and it's everywhere: schools, army, navy, and in prisons. So. Now we actually we uh, focusing on prevention of torture, uh, torture-free Sri Lanka. Jana Sansadeya works in various locations around the country, in groups or individually, to assist people who have suffered from violence, torture or abuse at the hands of police officers or public officials. So, actually, it is very diverse, uh, from education, from advocacy programs, uh, from lobbying, then campaigning, and to legal work, all sort, and also uh, counselling, and also economic support for the needy people. One of the biggest problem in Sri Lanka is this pre-trial detainees. Uh, according to the government statistics, it is more than 60% of the prisoners are pre-trial detainees. So they were in prison for, from maybe from one or two days to seven, eight days or more, uh, eight years more, ten years, eight years more. So it's a very problem. So this project, will, we will be able to identify five person, but it will be uh, not helping in one way it will help these five people but it will uh, also will be a, a study of the problem i hope to uh, help the pre-trial detainees the number is five but i think it is something i can do for my society and it will help to solve the problem in overcrowding of prisons because prison overcrow overcrowding is a big problem in Sri Lanka. Uh, still, Sri Lanka is, a, uh, I think, a patriarchal society. Uh, the women are also marginalized and the women and children are both vulnerable in Sri Lanka. Harshi's Justice Maker Project starts with a visit at the women's ward of Welika the prison in Colombo. Looking through prisoners' files, she searches for women who have been in prison for an extended period of time, without a trial, since they cannot afford bail or the help of a lawyer. One of the cases Harshi has selected to work with is that of Mrs. Anulawati. To gather more information on the case, Harshi visits her home, where she finds Mrs. Anulawati's daughter, Manel Manshak. Manel explains that both her parents were arrested for drug trafficking, but while her father is likely guilty, her mother was arrested by association and never dealt drugs. Since Manel cannot afford a lawyer, Mrs. Anulawati has been in prison for over two years awaiting her trial. Manel agrees to Harshi's legal aid offer, and a few days later, meets with a lawyer delegated by Jana Sansadeya to discuss an upcoming court date for her mother. Um. 
देना है कटने ही रहते हैं टू लास्ट से लास्ट थर्ड ऑफ दिस मंथ द केस वाज जस्ट कॉल्ड एंड पोस्ट एवरी फोर नाइट द केस वाज कॉल्ड एंड पोस्ट नाउ फ्रॉम लास्ट डे ऑनवर्ड्स द हाशिया स्टेपिंग टू द मैटर एंड यू नो आई डोंट नो वेदर दे आर वाज रिप्रेजेंटेशन मेड प्राय टू दैट but nothing has happened not even the case report has been updated so in as an initial step we obtained the case report and we wanted to know what in fact has happened or what what is what has happened according to the record if you have patience right and if you have good analytical uh, representation to a lawyer you know you can come out now in this case i have firm belief this amount could come down and we can take her out on bail here in the magistrate court itself basic problem regarding the pretrial detainees is the attitude of the courts they don't see these people are still suspect they think they are culprits or they are accused harshi's justice makers grant will help in defraying the costs of legal aid from anil's mother's case While it might still take some time before a hearing is scheduled for Mrs. Anulawati, at least now, Manel has a knowledgeable lawyer to work with, and the hope of seeing her mother's case soon resolve. Another case Harshi has selected to work with is that of Selva Raja Sivasakti. The young woman was arrested more than two years ago, just a few days after her arranged wedding to a man she did not know. The police claimed that payments had been made from her bank account to the Tamil Tigers terrorist organization. Friends of the family say Siva Sakti was an innocent victim in this case, blaming the crimes on the new husband, who lives abroad and has since annulled his marriage to Siva Sakti and taken a new wife. Siva Sakti's family used to be prosperous. But since her arrest, her mother has spent everything the family has ever owned on lawyers who took the money and never provided the promised help. She has sold everything she ever had to help Shiva Sakti and now lives in an apartment devoid of everything with her mentally ill son. After visiting the family, Harshi also visited Shiva Sakti in prison to discuss her legal aid offer. and to put the wheels of justice into motion just like for mrs anulawati siva sakti's case will soon be brought to a judge throughout her justice makers project harshi is also organizing seminars in various areas of sri lanka to inform the public of her project to discuss prison conditions in sri lanka and to explain the rights of prisoners one of the reasons why so many sri lankans sit in jail for years as pretrial detainees is because they are often not aware of their rights and of the assistance they can receive from organizations like jana sansadeya through these seminars harshi aims to inform the public of their rights and in this way help remedy some of the problems affecting sri lanka's legal system As her justice makers project advances and Harshi assists five women prisoners she will also continue to encourage more lawyers to adequately represent pretrial detainees regardless of their economic status as well she continues her work of informing the public of their rights Harshi and her organization Jana Sansadeya work under the principle that no matter if a crime was committed or not every citizen of sri lanka has the right to a fair trial and should not be forced to sit in prison for years awaiting their day in court i want to get the full benefit from my fellowship and do my best to the community to change for a difference